Ruby, 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 Ruby. 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 It doesn't feel right. Caleb and Ben aren't here, so... uh, It doesn't really work with two people. No, it doesn't. So, yeah, well, you'll have to deal with that awkward intro, Internet. So, uh, (laughs) we're back, and it's Ruby Tuesday, and uh, we're back with another episode of Ruby. This is Chapter 3, Volume... This is Volume 3, Chapter 4, Lessons Learned. Now, in the last one, well, the last one was kind of a... Well, we had a bit of an error with our recording, so we had to record it twice, and there were a lot of people who were mad about that. It's like, they seem like they've seen it before. It's like, we explained yeah. it earlier. Well, the Just people, watch the, the first part the of the people, video. The people, they skip, and they don't see our explanation. They're like, what the hell, guys? You've already seen it. Yeah, it's like, it's like oh, what, you don't care? That's what happens when you skip to the reaction. And watch them skip this and, one, too. Watch yeah. them skip this and not hear this explanation. Guys, exposition is important, all right? It's it's important to hear reasons why th- reasons why things are the way they are. Because with that, you don't wind up being ignorant. And whenever you confront someone about it, you have all the facts. I mean, it, that's just how it is. That's that's basic That's uh, that's basic law defense 101. I mean, of course, I mean, it is the Internet, so... Oh, uh, yeah, the Internet, it, it makes up its own rules as it goes. Uh, but anyway... Total and complete anarchy. <laughs> so, so beautiful. It, that is if the government uh, keeps its nose out of net neutrality. Eh, you can't stop it. <sighs> yeah, you can. There's always the deep web. No, I am not going back there. I've been to the deep web. No, I, and I'm not repeating what I saw there. I, I had a, I had someone who showed me the deep web. And he's like, hey, man, check out these sites. He was laughing at the sites, and I was shuddering in horror, and I left the room. I was like, dude, close it. I don't want to wa- see that anymore. But anyway... <clears throat> It's neither here nor there. We're here to watch Ruby. And uh, I think we were introduced to probably our favorite character. Yeah, well, he was introduced the uh, episode before, but we really didn't get to see him in action. Yep. But <laughs> my Uncle Crow. My spirit animal, Drunkle Crow. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so uh, from what I, I s- hear... still need to get a cape. From what I hear, he's still very prominent in these episodes. So uh, Well, he's in the intro now, so I feel like he's going to ha- be... You know, and like with them, like talking at the end, it seems like he's kind of like some sort of operative for Ozpin. Like he's been out looking for something. I can. I and can then see there was that. that ominous pronoun she. She's like what? Well, she's like amassing an army or whatever. Mm. So. So we'll have I to. No. So we'll go with something's that. in the works. Yeah, and hopefully it's going to be a good build. They're building. They're doing good with the build mm-hmm. this season so far. But let's get started. Here we go. Oh, wait. Got to skip Das Intro. A lot of people are mad that we skipped the intro, but hey. We we watched that one time and didn't get any copyright strikes. It's just... Uh, it's just you can only... Uh, once you get to some animes, you skip you skip the intros. Yeah. It's just, even though I love Cowboy Bebop, I've seen Tank about 50,000 times. Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> I've seen that intro about 50,000 times, so you'll have it's to... It's a really good us. intro, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not my favorite intro. Not my, not my favorite. I'd say probably... Season two is probably probably my favorite intro in terms of the in terms of the build of the song and everything. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we're hey we're we're supposed to be reacting. Sorry. Lapita. Pokemon Stadium. Oh snap. This fight's going to be crazy. Oh, four different sides. Interesting. Okay. It's like the hey. Savannah. Love the outfit, kid. I'll try not to get blood on it. Uh, I can't promise you'll leave without a scratch. I won't be the one bleeding. Oh, I like her. Three, two, one, begin! Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> they all have the rays of sunglasses. <laughs> like, yeah. Ultimate cool. Pink coffee. Yeah, but 
where's the girl? Mercury's, Mercury's bad, bad news. Yeah, he's pretty much Yang. Oh no. Uh -oh. There we go. Yeah, bring out your lunch pail again. Oh yeah. It's like a Capoeira tornado. That's crazy. You know, I had an idea for a character like that a long time ago. Oh no. Dude, he's super bad news. Oh. oh, here comes Emerald. Coco! I started to say, uh. Oh, you're in his world now, bud. Dang. This guy's got some tough feet. What are you made out of? Uh oh. Hmm? Oh, man. Oh. I'll snap. Uh oh. I take it back. I don't like her. Shape shifting, that's her semblance. It could have been like a like a projection. I don't know. Damn. Or a projection, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dang. They're both out. And with an amazing upset, Emerald and Mercury are victorious. Uh, Yeah, well, it is what it huh. is. Well, I mean, you knew they had to be pretty bad news because they're not exactly You're regular students. Leaving? No, they're not. Yes. I was merely needed to oversee the transport of additional units to Vale. Our last shipment was lost to an ambush. I believe you had a run-in with its cargo, actually. It's fortunate those paladins were still in the prototype stage. Otherwise, your team may not have fared so well. Weiss, you've done well out here on your own. You should be proud. Hey. I'll be honest, it was quite amusing seeing Father's face the day you left for Beacon. I can't wait to show him what I've learned. Oh? Then what do you think you've learned? What do you mean? I'm getting better and better with my glyphs. I've even started time dilation. And what of your summoning? I... Mm. You know I can't. Don't be ridiculous. Every Shni has the ability to summon. We have for generations. I've tried. It's just, it's the one thing I'm having trouble with. We Shnis are unique. Unlike many, our semblance is hereditary. Oh, okay. But that doesn't mean that it will come easily. Your we'll semblance is out, like a muscle. Well, the more you are practice her with her it, the stronger it will become. Well, it's not just them, if you but only it's also focus on Rudy's one aspect of well. it. If you fail to test the well, limits, I mean, we, what you just think is that possible? Is like that. It seems to be. That is freaking awesome. <laughs> then you'll never truly grow. Okay, so uh, apparently Weiss has the coolest siblings ever. <laughs> You're nothing but talk, kid. You can do it, Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, don't ever call me old. <laughs> now, where was I? You were telling us about your last mission! Right, right. I'd come across a small village in the swamps west of Mistral. Right off the bat, I knew something wasn't right. What were you doing there? I needed information. Tired from battling Grimm along the way, I decided to start my search at the town's inn. The place was crawling with lowlifes and thugs. 
Even a few huntsmen that I could only assume had been hired by less than reputable people for less than respectable jobs. And that's when it happened. What happened? I was defeated by the mere sight of the innkeeper's skirt length. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally my spirit animal. You are the worst! <laughs> <laughs> Best two out of three. So, Uncle Crow, did you get in trouble with Ozpin? Nah, me and Oz go way back. We're cool. <laughs> cool for an old guy. Not funny. Hey, so what are you doing here anyway? I thought Dad said you'd be away on a mission for, like, ever. Well, a professional huntsman like myself is expected to get results as soon as possible. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> We're pretty much pros, too. Oh, really? Yeah, read the news sometime. We totally saved Vale while you were gone. Funny, because I heard Vale suffered a grim attack after you almost managed to stop a train. <laughs> but they don't give out medals for almost. They do, and they're called silver! Well, we helped take down <laughs> Roman Torchwick. He's locked up in Ironwood ship and crimes went down ever since. That's basically a bounty mission. Sure, you may be acting like huntresses, but you're not thinking like one. You really think four girls and their friends could end all crime in a kingdom? I mean, I did until you said that. <laughs> Violence hasn't dropped Poor since Ruby. Roman got nabbed. It stopped. Completely. No white fang activity anywhere around the city. You cut off the head of a King Taijitu, but now the second head's calling the shots. That's what Ironwood can't get through that thick metal head of his. You know the general? Hey, I know everybody to some extent. Remember, you're talking to a member of the coolest team to ever graduate Beacon. <sighs> team Stark. That's when I met your parents. We were pretty well known back in the day. Well known for crummy fashion sense. Hey, we looked good. And I have a number of inappropriate stories that'll back that up. <laughs> but I'll save those for when you're older. <laughs> Anyway, I'm too old to be hanging out with a bunch of kids. You're gonna cramp my style. <laughs> they say you need Look, a tattered cape like what he's Just got. remember of that you've still got a <laughs> long way to go. The dog is passed out. And don't think for a second that graduating that's means why. you're done. Every day out there is worth a week in this place. You two, you're gonna go far. But only if you keep learning. If you never stop moving forward. Yeah. Excellent form. Now think to your fallen foes, the ones that forced you to push yourself past who you were and become who you are now. Think of them and watch as they come to your side. Start small. I can't. Stop doubting yourself. I'm trying. If this is what you call trying, then you have no hope of winning the tournament, hmm. let alone succeeding as a huntress. Why don't you just move back home? I'm sure father will give you a nice job as a receptionist. I don't need his charity. But you do need his money, don't you? What? How did you know about that? Lucky guess. I may have been in a similar situation when I joined the military. So what have you done this time? Well, that's the thing. I'm really not sure. I went to pay for lunch the other day, but my card didn't work. How embarrassing. I know! Well, it was. Why would he cut me off like that? Perhaps so you'd stop avoiding him and call home. Hmm. Emotions can grant you strength, but you must never let them overpower you. It sounds to me like you have two choices in front of you. You can either call him, beg for his money back, and explain once more why you want to study at Beacon over Atlas. Or you could continue to explore Remnant, discovering more about the world and, honestly, more about yourself. Hmm. It's time for me to go. It was really good to see you, Winter. <clears throat> Until next time, sister. Some believe in fairy stories and the ghosts that they can't see. I know that.
Interesting. Indeed. Is that anything after credits? Oh, no, that's just the, uh, that's just the outro animation. Okay. So, yeah. Gotta say, <laughs> Drunkle Crow <laughs> and his mini screen. That's pretty funny. I was gonna say, is that a tie back into the, uh, is that a tie back into the, um, um, him being part because uh, he's voiced by Vic Mignona mm-hmm. and Vic Mignona his most famous uh, voice was Edward Elric mm-hmm. from Full Metal Alchemist and one of the most famous scenes from Full Metal Alchemist was uh, <laughs> Colonel Roy Mustang and he's like if I am elected Fuhrer there will be a dress requirement for all female officers tiny mini skirts it's possible and then Havoc comes up, he's like, oh, oh, Mustang, you hero, you, I will follow you into the end. And starts hugging his leg. <laughs> Meanwhile, Reza Hawkeye just shakes her head. <laughs> uh, Could very well be. Uh, well, I, I, think if, I think if women want to wear skirts, they should be allowed to, but uh, there shouldn't be a dress code. I mean, they should, they should be able to wear whatever they want. Wait, what are we talking about? What? Are you talking about the military? Yeah. Oh, like the actual military? No, no, I'm talking about like in. Uh, never mind. Oh, we got because, uh, because it just like in this, uh, select women wear pants. Some right. pe- some women wear wear battle skirts. Battle skirts. skirts. That the battle skirt brigade. It's yeah. Weiss and uh, Weiss and Ruby, and uh, then there's uh, then there's Yang who's pretty much wearing almost Daisy Dukes. I mean it, it it's just it's, it should be. I mean. Kids should be allowed to wear whatever they want in school, uh, uh, even private schools. I feel like because if their parents are paying so much money a year for them to be sent to private school, why why can't the kids wear whatever they want? Why do they have to wear those stupid ass uniforms? And what does it promote like an air of an air of superiority? Well, presumably, if you had more competition among private schools, you might have private schools without dress codes. But eh, that's I mean, true. a lot of Private schools are really expensive and kind of maintain this sort of I don't know, image. Elite image, you would say, I guess. Elitist status. Because, you know, the, they don't really have the whole public school thing of, you know, you have to go or your parents are going to prison. That's true. So. Yeah. I I just, I, I'm just happy that they're doing, that they're, <laughs> the way they're going with the show. Like, you know, they showed Weiss, you know, Weiss has a weakness, you know, mm-hmm. her summoning. And they showed her and her sister working on it, and pretty much they give Weiss, Weiss's character, a fork in the road. Also, I mean, that's kind of the coolest semblance ever now because she, she can do time dilation, so theoretically she can slow bad guys down, speed herself up, or her allies, which we've seen her do that with Blake. Yeah. When they're fighting Torchwick in, like, that, uh, the, um, what is it, Paladin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she's... We've seen her use some elemental manipulation, the ice thing. Yeah. Um, but now she can apparently like summon semi-conscious, you know, <laughs> Sem- yeah, revenants or something of you know like Grim that she's killed, which is awesome. Yeah. And I mean, it, it, it's a cool thing, and uh, it, that's it gives you it, it. It's it's like one of my favorite video games ever is uh, Mega Man X, mm-hmm. and in the beginning of the game. You know, you have a base. You have a base power. You know, just you know where you're at in terms of power. You know, you can do the single shot and the charge shot. You can do you know wall slides and wall jumps, mm-hmm. slide up and down slopes. Um, but eventually, you come across a character who is a lot more powerful than you and who saves your life. Um, you come across X, uh, and it's just like in this, it gives you where the character is at and where they can ascend to. Mm-hmm. And you see eventually they can take steps up to getting up to that level, maybe even surpassing it. It's And, and you see good good shows that build like that. Uh, a lot of people hate Naruto, but I, I like the fact that Naruto had to build up from pretty much where he was 
a stubborn knucklehead who <laughs> was too quick to jump on the trigger to being one of the more responsible characters of the show. Sure. And it just shows maturity. It shows the correlation from where the character was to where they were at the end of their story arc. And you see, that's what I love, man. I love, I love when they do that right. I love when, cause you see a lot of shows like this, they have a tendency to rush things. They have a tendency to rush the character learning something like they learn it through like a freak occurrence or something like mm -hmm. that. No, instead they show Weiss here with the, with, you know, the little summoning of the sword, you know, the little yeah. ice sword. And it's just like, all right, she's getting, she's, she can do it. It's just she hasn't she hasn't grasped how to fully right. how I to fully do it. Yeah, I think something's gonna gonna happen because it seems like Weiss has tried to depend on herself too much, and now now that she's depending on other people, I think it's sort of opening up doors for. Her. And I know that she and Yang they they were voted for the next the doubles match. Yeah. So I could see because I feel like I mean I feel like they're gonna. Team Ruby is going to progress pretty far in that. I think so too. And so I feel like I feel like Weiss might have a breakthrough and actually pull off a summon to help them Let, in the may, match. Maybe not. Maybe not a full summoning. Well, yeah, like, like what a her little sister's summoning. able to do. Yeah, maybe not. May, like a, maybe something that helps them in the match. Not like, like a instance, Beowulf, but no, like a, like like the little birds. Like I was little, thinking like what the the birds. I was thinking like the little pig lizard thing because I think they're funny. It, oh yeah, you could she could <laughs> use one of those. That could actually be probably her first one as a callback. To the first, to when she uh, defeated the Grimm in class, defeated that Grimm. In well, class. now she defeated. A, it was a boar in class. Yeah, but in the in like the big court or park fight scene where the oh, train crashed. Oh, that one. Okay, there were like these yeah. little pig lizards that had two legs and like little tails. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. I remember that now. Well, she could do. Well, she could do it. It could be like a minor one, like a small one that provides enough distraction for her and Yang to get to get through it. Or maybe just birds. Or maybe, or maybe, or birds. I mean, it could well, be. Or maybe that little caterpillar just like. Yeah. Plunk, yeah. Right in somebody's face. <laughs> I could see that. Uh, but, yeah, that's... This is... I love this show, dude. I mean, and, dude, people are... You know, people are, are, like, waiting on hot abated breath for our reactions to them now. I mean, it's it's like... Every time we come out with a new one, it's just, it's just like, boom. And like, my phone blows up. I have everything synced up to my phone to where we get, uh, we get the emails about... You know, with all the comments and everything... And about like an hour goes by, and there's almost a hundred comments in there already. Dang. It's just like, geez, Louise, <laughs> I can't keep up with it. But hey, that's what I love. I love it. I love that. I love that people are so dedicated to this show, and they value what we have to say. And uh, man, I guys, we can't. We, man, it, I'm still blown away by thirty thousand subscribers. I mean. And, <laughs> <laughs> we're only getting we're only getting bigger from here. Ah, uh, yeah, it's just uh, I <laughs> about to start crying almost. I know it's weird. I know a grown man crying on the internet. That's I feel like that happens a lot actually. Really? Yeah, you think? Well, usually it's because you're getting hit in the nards with like you know <laughs> a dodgeball or something in most videos. <laughs> Oh well, you don't have to do that with you don't have to do that here. Just just start crying. Yeah. No. Heck, you got punched in the face twice. Twice. And you didn't cry. Oh, you got punched in the face, then hit in the head with an ice bag, and then got hit in the head with a rubber ball, a, a giant rubber ball, giant red rubber ball. Struggle is real. Struggle is real. <laughs> and well, it's been real, and we uh, hope you all have enjoyed this uh, reaction. This has been a Ruby Tuesday with uh, the Renegades, and. Uh, I think, uh, I think. Well, we'll see you later, Internet. Check down below for the uh, check in the description for all of our various other content. Check in the uh, comment section and write down there what you want us to watch next. We will keep reacting to Ruby as long as I keep putting it out. Uh, though we're not going to do a continuous Ruby Tuesday anymore because of the uh, you know because eventually this season will end and we'll have to wait for season four. Sure. And hey, it'll come to that when it comes to that. And uh, well. That's going to be it for this internet video, internet. We'll see you later. Peace out.